Good morning! Today I am here once again with Tony G and a large package. And you may have noticed that I have my package opening sweater on. Are you jealous? <laughs> <laughs> this is Zymox rooms? The ones that I ordered nine months ago? Yeah. No, it's uh, not. These are Tricks on Marching Tender Drums, some of the cheapest and most lightweight drums on the market. And today we are going to be unboxing these and comparing them to the expensive tenor drums. Okay, so first I'm going to show you guys what these drums are. So here we are on Trixon's website, uh, Marching Toms. They offer some very tiny ones, little double spock drums. Little flubs for Steven? Exactly. And then we go down to trios. These would honestly be pretty good for like a middle school or elementary school marching band, most likely. They have like all sorts of setups. You can get the trios like big to small going that way. You can get them big to small middle out. And then we got tenor drums. Uh, so you guys might notice here. So these are normal uh, quads. Then we got the quads going in reverse. <laughs> <laughs> Just in case. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why on earth you would ever want that. I mean, even left-handed players, like, you shouldn't play that way, because if you ever, you know, go on to do, like, college band or drum corps, it's never going to be this. And th <laughs> so then, we got this set. And this is the set that I bought. <laughs> what a beauty. <laughs> so this is five drums, a set of quints, and they're set up in a straight line. <laughs> At least, uh, you know, they got the large drum over on the side so that the weight is not all on one side. But, like, <laughs> this literally makes no sense at all. Why would you ever do this? <laughs> and the thing I worry about here is, like, if some, like, you know, middle school band director or something with no percussion experience goes on this site to order drums, they're probably going to order the wrong drums. Like, they'll order this goofy thing or the freaking backwards quads. Like, I, I just worry that, like, people don't know better and then order this wacky setup equipment. And if we scroll down the page, all of these are normal looking. Like, you got the six pack normal, you got the quince normal. Like, <laughs> Honestly, everything from this row up should just be eliminated. <laughs> but maybe I'm being too judgmental of this, okay? I've never played on these drums until a few minutes from now when we set them up. So let's get to it. Here we go. What a beautiful big package we have today. Oh my goodness. Let's open it. Does that give you PTSD? Yes, dude. Freaking Ace Hardware firing me. I got you the job. You did get me the job. But they took it away. They took our jam. They took your jam. They took your jam. So the tricks on marching quint tenor drums. They come with five drums, obviously. Sizes, uh, so we got six, eight, ten, twelve, thirteen. And the harness comes looking like this thing. Uh, it looks like the drums just slip right into these grooves here. And then this will attach into this T-bar, into the shoulders. And it also came with a very nice pair of unlabeled drum set sticks. Very nice. Yeah, for drum set. And of course, a wrench and a drum key. Very important. Here we go, drums are together. <laughs> this is so goofy feeling. Okay, so that was the tricks on drums out of the box. So obviously the heads, we didn't tune them at all. That's the way they sound. And pretty much any set of drums will sound crappy like that if you don't tune them. So we're gonna put some new heads on these. And also, if we compare these to what a normal set of tenors look like, you can see the Yamaha drums I have here. They're in a configuration that, you know, makes sense to play them. One, two, three, four, and then you got the two Spocks in here. So through the power of engineering and figuring things out, we are going to rebuild these drums to make them look like those drums.
Okay, we are off to a fantastic start here. We got all the hardware off of the Trixon drums, and Tony G is about to do his magic here. That's right, we're gonna re-drill the holes, put these uh, Yamaha spacers in there, and uh, put these drums back together how they should be. Yes, and we are also using this old freaking Pearl back bar, which I'm, tr I'm trying to get all the parts together for that. I think we can make this happen. Okay, as you can see, we made them look normal-ish. Uh, we got this uh, pearl back bar, they got the pearl drum stand. These can now go on a stand before they weren't stand capable, but now they are. There was a couple weird things that we found. Um, some of the shell depths are all out of whack, like the one drum is way taller than the two and all the others, but the spot drum actually doesn't even fit on the stand correctly. It rests on the center post. Yeah, the shell is huge, dude. <laughs> so we had to angle the stand down a little bit to make it flat and level. Also, something very interesting is, so drums three and drums four have the, uh, the tricks on badge, but drums one and two and Spock do not. That's actually kind of cool looking. It looks like... <laughs> Should be on like a car or something. However, they still sound like crap because we're using the stock heads and haven't tuned them. So we are going to put on brand new heads and tune the crap out of them. Okay, now we're gonna do the test that really, really matters, okay? We're gonna weigh these drums and see how they compare to the Yamaha drums. 16 and a half pounds on these bad boys. Woo! Yeah, lightweight and efficient. Oh, look at him go, <laughs> so strong. We got 29 pounds on the Yamaha drums. 29. Whoa. I mean, Oh, it's such a struggle, I know. They're like almost twice as heavy. So yeah, the Yamahas actually have one extra drum than the Trixons. It's this 14 inch drum right here. And that drum weighs about five pounds by itself. So even if that wasn't on there, the Trixons would still be a whole heck of a lot lighter than the Yamahas. Okay, now we're gonna go outside and see how these compare to the expensive drums.
Okay, I gotta say here, I went into this project expecting these tricks on drums to be complete garbage, but <laughs> they surpassed my expectations by far. Like, these sounded pretty darn good, and they're a fraction of the price of its competitors. Like, that's pretty epic. And I would be very curious to see how these drums would sound if they came with the large size with the 14-inch drum. Because doing the licks side by side like that, I mean, the bigger block tenors, they're always gonna sound better than the smaller block tenors. But in my professional, unsponsored opinion, I think that these tricks on drums would be absolutely fantastic for middle school or elementary school drum lines. What I think is holding them back is the size of their harness. You can see here when I was wearing it, it was set to the lowest possible position, but was super high on me. And I'm not like super tall or anything, I'm 5'11", 6 foot on Tinder, ladies. But it looks like the hardware on their Field Series drums may be compatible with other name brand harnesses and stands. So if these J-hook sizes are the same as other drums, then you could probably substitute in like a Pearl harness or something for us taller guys to be able to play them. And I do think this would be an excellent set of practice drums for anyone, because these drums are actually cheaper than a lot of tenor practice pads, so that's a no-brainer right there. And the shipping time from Trixon was a lot faster than one certain drum pad company who I've been waiting for nine months to get my product in. Yeah, the Trixon drums only took about two weeks to get here. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Make sure that you click that subscribe button and ring that liberty bell and click that like button. And also consider buying a custom t-shirt such as this one or this one. I will leave a link for those in the description. And have, have a, a good, good morning. morning.